Everybody, welcome to the latest edition of Nets Post Game Plus. Bob Lorenz and Frank Isola with you. So the Nets losing to the Wizards 149 to 146. And Frank, it all came down to a two and a half second span yeah. late in the game when Nets thought they had it wrapped up, and it wasn't the case. And let's be clear, that's not a three overtime game. That's a 48 minute <laughs> regulation game. And the Nets gave up 48 points in the fourth quarter. But like you mentioned, Bob, they were up five with under 10 seconds to go. Back to back threes. Bradley Beal, Russell West. Westbrook, who was outstanding on this night, that Joe Harris turnover that led to the Russell Westbrook three, and then, of course, at the end, TLC had a chance to win at the buzzer. Good look by Kyrie Irving on the inbounds pass. He has to finish there. Unacceptable loss for the Nets. When you give up 48 points in the fourth quarter, you can't, you can't be a championship team and, be, and do things like that. Great point. There were huge numbers for all the big names in this one. Washington's starting backcourt of Westbrook and Beal combined for 78 points, with Beal putting up 22 in the fourth quarter alone. Kevin Durant led Brooklyn with 37. Before his players spoke to the media, Steve Nash was asked what he saw for the Nets on the defensive end that gave the Wizards a chance to steal the victory. That was basically the message after the game. Uh, gave up 149 points, 72 points in the paint, uh, 48 points in the fourth quarter. 17 turnovers didn't help, but you know the defense just wasn't good enough. And uh, I think everyone realizes, you know, we obviously had many opportunities to win it down the stretch at the end of the game there, but probably didn't deserve it the way we guarded all night. So um, frustrating night, and, and uh, our level dropped, and we got to pick it up. When you have a game with great scores on both sides, you expect a high scoring affair. That said, though, you know, when you look at the defense, what would you attribute, you know, some of those issues to that you'd like to correct? Uh, I mean, it seems like every game we play, we're battling. Um, just some some things that the game flow can uh, sometimes bring you, you know, whether it be some calls going your way, whether it be some high scoring quarters they score 48 in the fourth quarter I don't know if we're gonna get many wins if we uh, allow 48 points in any quarter so um you know it's a tough night when you're giving up that many points and it's a tough night when you you know you're not particularly um you know doing the little things that could create some separation uh you know down the stretch we we had that game that should have been ours so uh you know we just look at ourselves in the mirror and, and just see where we can correct um as individuals and as a group you know, just especially on the effort, you know, I, I couldn't guard a stick today. You know, those guys were just going right around me and, you know, I was getting frustrated a little bit, but they kept attacking and, and that's what good teams do and good scorers do. So well, Brooklyn will return to action Tuesday night with a home game against the Clippers that will air on TNT. Yes, his next broadcast comes your way Friday when the Nets face Toronto and coverage is going to start at seven o'clock. I'm Bob Lorenz for Frank Isola. Thanks for watching Post Game Plus.